what's going on Capricorn family let's take a look at what you don't see coming so Capricorns please welcome and welcome back to my channel please hit the like button subscribe join the membership family let me know where you are watching from drop your birthday sun and moon rising Capricorns and cross watchers um, the only thing that I ask for you to do over here is to use common sense and hit the like button Okay, please take what resonates, leave what does not. These are very general readings. Okay, they're not personal. It's not about you. Again, take what resonates, leave what does not. Um, what you don't see coming, Capra. Ooh. What is this money offer coming in? Some of you, new job, new person, new commitment getting some um, some messages, excuse me, from an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, another Capricorn. There's some type of stable, financial, <clears throat> serious commitment opportunity that you don't see, that you don't see coming. The two of pentacles, okay. The Seven of Cups. We've been seeing a lot of repeating sevens. Shout out to those of you Capricorns born in the year 77. Have a seven in your birthday. The Six of Wands, Five, Six, Nine of Swords. So if I'm not mistaken, though I very much could be, I think it's the first day of the Mercury retrograde. Hey. Um, but we see this anxiety and stress, but an opportunity coming in. An opportunity. And for some, I feel like, and to be honest with you, it looks like multiple opportunities. For those of you that are, you know, keeping your options and eyes and ears open to things. But I feel this energy of just when somebody is getting ready to give up on something or throw in the towels, feeling very exhausted. Out of nowhere comes this opportunity, comes this offer. It could be even something as small as like winning a small amount of money with like a scratch off ticket or like a lottery ticket, something like that. Um, but a financial win nonetheless. A couple of things coming at you. And we notice with this two of coins, you see this snake down here giving the infinity, but also that eight energy of reaping what you've sown, right? What goes around comes around. Having many options here, but also this energy of mm, feeling stuck, not knowing what to do. So right at this, again, right at this period where there's a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, the feeling exhausted, We see communication coming in. Some of you not sure when, when you're going to be able to eat a nice meal. <clears throat> word, word. At the end of something, when somebody's pretty much at the end of their rope, notice even the queen of wands here. So not looking good, but feeling confident. Making it through whatever this rough time is. And not only that, when I think of the queen and king of wands, that fire energy, these are conquerors. These are people taking action, motivated even when they're, you know, when they have nothing left. There's still a little gas in the tank. And we see this major investment here. So many options going from feeling overwhelmed to having many options to having the option to invest in certain things. Why do I feel like the money that somebody's waiting for, wanting or needing is just kind of, I don't want to say showing up, but an opportunity to have that finds its way to somebody. Some of you through a contract. Others of you could be a serious relationship coming in. We notice the matching energy, right? 
And even when I think of equal parts earth and water, like mud, like cement, like something solid coming together, which we see not just with the page of coins here, but also with this Hierophant, the Taurus energy. I also think of Libra as well. Sometimes, not always. Um, but this energy of having faith. Having faith, this energy of like asking and then receiving. But this is the energy of, again, those that are putting in work, putting in effort, that are showing up. Notice with the Six of Wands, <clears throat> somebody standing out above the rest here. And this is a card of celebration, welcoming somebody home. Um Winning, you know, the marathon, uh, something that is a marathon, not a race. Again, that conquering energy, very similar to our girl here. The okay, Queen of Wands, the Justice card, and then the Emperor underneath it, Aries, Libra. Let's talk about fighting through a situation, completely thugging it out until things got back square, balanced, equal, on even footing, waiting for, even when I think of 11s, a new beginning. But this energy again of getting what is yours, what belongs to you. And this emperor as well, um, the being in control. The being patient and, again, thugging it out, doing the right thing, the fair and honest thing. Because, again, our man's here has a high moral compass. Getting in control of your situation. There's this energy of some of you being promoted. Getting a major bonus. Again, contracts coming in. There's also been this energy lately. Again, join the family, check out the playlist of the of a relocation and kind of like starting over moving jobs. But this promotion, starting a business, um, being offered a business partnership. Um, this energy of being in control of not only yourself, but others. Whether that's having direct reports or starting a family. Aries, excuse me, Aries, Sagittarius, lots of fire action. We see this happiness, brand new beginnings, happy endings, success, fertility. We see a father figure here with the emperor, a husband. Father figure. Some of you are stumbling into a new relationship, a commitment, but others of you, this financial thing, the stability that is coming in that is unexpected, the nine. We started with the nine of wands, excuse me, the nine of swords, and now we're here at the nine of wands. All of this fire. There's something that you've been very focused on, having, achieving, getting, doing, You're making it possible. And those of you that are continuing forward, that have been disciplined, reaping the benefits of all of your hard work. We've seen the justice card on 11. We've seen a couple of aces, the ace of air, now the ace of earth. The 11-11, make a wish, the new beginning vibes new person, new opportunity, new opportunity coming in, stability, an offer clearly coming in. And something that, again, nobody, it's, un, it's, it, it's not foreseen. Because we see this energy of somebody being very um, upset, stressed out, maybe even embarrassed about their situation. Um, emotional here with this five of cup, living in this energy of regretting or second guessing, having a lot of doubts. But Capricorns, it's been strong logic. 
Shout out to those of you with heavy air in your chart and the Aquarius cuspers. It has been using strong logic, keeping unnecessary emotions at bay. That's been getting you the results that you want. It's also bringing in this new offer and opportunity is this energy of asking for what it is that you want, that ask and you shall receive, knock and the door will be open, right? Those of you that have been praying and speaking things into existence, you're starting to see that. This is one of those moments. So I would also say to be careful about this opportunity and how you use it. Do not take it for granted. I also feel that with this opportunity, whatever it is, um, <clears throat> communication is key. Communication is key with attracting this person, this opportunity, as well as maintaining this opportunity and this person. Because we see, again, this unexpected offer coming in, even though we see somebody hurt, going through a hard time here, going through some a conflict, a falling out, and then boom. Heavy Pisces energy as we have been seeing lately. All of these deep emotions, all of this being sure, but not knowing why you're sure, trusting your intuition and your gut about this opportunity, about this next chapter, excuse me, oops, need to stop hitting my camera, about this next chapter that you're getting ready to walk into, Capricorn. Shout out to those of you with heavy water, Pisces in your chart or dealing with the Pisces. And I am going to be dropping for the members, Capricorn in each individual element reading. So side note on that, but yes. An opportunity that somebody has been waiting for, working for, and can feel that they're right at the cusp of having that, achieving that thing, know that you need to stick with what, what it is that you're doing. When you can feel it all the way in your bones like arthritis on a cold Michigan morning, you need to continue to do that. And, and this energy <clears throat> of keeping your emotions in check, being emotionally mature, going with the flow when I think of the King of Cups, but being adaptable, being adaptable and allowing this new opportunity, whether it is a relationship that is romantic or business to grow, this energy of watering a situation, it being very exciting, passionate. We see the four staffs, 11-11, this opportunity, I'm going to repeat again, this opportunity that somebody has been wishing for, praying for when I think of the high priestess and the moon, praying for. At night, say in their prayers, first thing in the morning when you wake up before the sun. This situation presenting itself. But why do I feel like there's this element of self-sabotage here? Capricorn with this ten of swords a lack of trust, and it does look like a lack of trust here. Notice how our guy here is, has this blessing, this opportunity. We've already seen the sun. We've seen the sun and the moon. But our man here looking back over his shoulder, almost as if he doesn't trust this opportunity, as if he doesn't trust this offer, as if he doesn't trust this person back here. What is this lack of trust and this perspective shift that has to change? Or is it because somebody is just not happy, not in a certain place, has not experienced certain things, has only been around toxic people? Shout out to my people in the year, born in the year of the snake. Um, drop your Chinese zodiac if you know it down below. But it's this energy of when somebody makes this choice to be happy or focus on their happiness, what makes them happy, what drives them. 
as well as getting into a happier mind frame and space, there's less of this energy of second guessing other people, having to look over your shoulder, wonder or worry. I also feel like there's somebody coming in that's going to change somebody's perspective on things. And now we've seen the sun, the moon, and the star. Everything being in alignment to connect you with this opportunity and or this person here. Shout out to the Aquarius Cuspers and those of you born on the 17th. And notice we see this serious investment and then this star here. Shout out to those of you that live in the 717, wherever that is. I think it's Pennsylvania. But this setting these clear boundaries, keeping a level head, remaining focused. And I also feel this energy with this queen of swords here, doing something on one's own. And even her, keeping this eye over one shoulder. There's this like... For somebody watching, it's almost like a part of them to second guess or wonder like what the catch is, to be very cynical. I'm not telling you to not have discernment, but there's a, a level where it's no longer questioning to question and it's just kind of um, a negative mindset. Like not allowing your mind to believe that positive things can happen or that there's always something negative around every turn. There's a, there's a message to watch that. You may miss opportunities being too focused on looking back or what's, what's hidden. Because notice we go right from that queen of swords, all that air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, to this empress here, Taurus, Libra. Abundance, emotional, financial, stability. This is a nurturer, a lover, a mother, a wife. A queen, so just like that emperor that we've already seen in control, this person also in control. And notice the snakes, a major change. Snakes shedding their skin, right? Snakes shed their skin when they're growing and when they're getting ready to have children. So you, you can let me know which one it is for you. Congratulations to the mamas. But uh, there's a major change coming in with the stability, with this mindset shift, with this new focus. And this new opportunity that is coming and being presented to you. I repeat, a new opportunity is getting ready to be presented to you. That is going to be the ending of one thing and the beginning of something very special here. The beginning of a major blessing. A blessing is coming in. And note it, another ace. We've seen the ace of air, earth, now fire. The eight of coins again, reaping the benefits of the hard work that somebody has put in to their work, their career, their body, their business, their self, their mental health, their happiness this new opportunity. And it seems like a lot of you are leaning towards taking it, accepting this offer. Some of you are presenting this offer to someone, making your intentions clear or known, letting people know what it is that you've been working on. Shout out to those of you with Libra in your chart dealing with a Libra and those of you born in the year 6886. Some of you are not sure about whether or not you want to accept this offer. Maybe because it is so new. Maybe because it's outside of your comfort zone. Again, some of that is feeling like you don't have enough information, needing to do some research. Shout out to those of you that are, have this opportunity to go back to school or to learn while you're on the job. Um, I also get, have this feeling that somebody's doing some type of writing. But with taking on this opportunity that somebody's, you know, on the fence about, but they've been working hard to have this opportunity, there's this element of travel. Travel and not letting your baggage self-sabotage here, trust issues get in the way. 
accept this staff, put these things, these old, unnecessary things that are irrelevant to the situation being presented in front of you, behind you, and just choose, choose to move forward. I repeat, leaving the trust issues behind. Address issues when you see them. Nobody's telling you to ignore the red flags. Absolutely use your discernment. The sevens repeating. I've seen three sevens, a seven of what? Water, earth, air. Three sevens is 21. A new beginning. A pause before a new beginning. Letting past trust issues go. Letting people that you have issues with trusting go. Sometimes you have people around you that are blocking your blessings and blocking you from getting certain things. Some of you, it's family members. Some of you, it may be a Taurus or an earth sign individual. It could be a father figure, a workplace, somebody that you work with, coworker, but there's somebody that needs to go. And with that, kicking somebody out, getting rid of this negative energy or this energy that you can't trust, comes stability, comes a fast transition into something new, things taking off very quickly, moving on. And we see somebody coming in blessed and waiting for the next thing. Shout out to those of you dealing with another Capricorn. But this, I'm going to tell you that this energy of being very selfish and focused on this one particular thing is bringing this offer in. There's also this element with this devil card here of not letting self-sabotage one's ego, the love of um, material and physical things, vices get, get in the way. Because for some of you, there's an opportunity to make a lot of money here. Others of you, some of you are going to have somebody coming in that's going to uh, worship the ground that you're walking on. Again, this message should not take advantage of this person or opportunity that is being given to someone. Again, the opportunity. Do not let it pass you by. And even here, now we're looking at this queen of coins. Shout out to the Capricorns. But this vacant seat. Notice how the seat is open up. Oh, and somebody is looking to fill the seat. A seat is getting ready to be filled. You are filling a seat. Somebody is filling a vacancy in your situation. But stability is coming. And this energy with the three and two of wands, when I see it, and we've already seen the king of pentacles, right down here, you, you can see him here. Um, just as much as you're looking for this opportunity or this person, this person and this opportunity is looking for you. It is that equally given and taking, not codependent, but interdependent, working together. And once this opportunity is presented, it almost gives this energy of it's smooth sailing. Shout out to those of you dealing with an Aries or Cancer or a Scorpio individual, the tower, the chariot, all this water. Things moving smoothly. Somebody's emotions being all in. And again, this element of like traveling. Moving back and forth. Some of you, when I think of traveling, I also think of the French word travailler, like to work. A shocking revelation. Whatever this, whatever this struggle is, it is temporary. As these opportunities and choices coming towards you, there are multiple. For, I feel like for many of you, it's, it's multiple things at once. It's not just this financial thing. There's also a person. For some of you, there's also this big move that's coming. It's many, many, many things. It's like move. It's like a, a lot of things happening all at once. Anyway, Capricorns, at this point, I'm rambling. Let me know what resonated for you. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Join the membership family and Capricorns and Crosswatchers. I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.